The Americans with Disabilities Act, ADA, protects people with disabilities from discrimination. The ADA was signed into law on July 26, 1990, following many years of advocacy by the disability and civil rights communities. Since then, the ADA has transformed American society, guaranteeing that people with disabilities have the same opportunities as everyone else to enjoy employment opportunities, purchase goods and services, and participate in state and local government programs. Hi, I'm Jessica De La Rosa, and I'm the Independent Living Associate for ICS, and I'm also an advocate. My name is Dustin Jones. I'm a disability rights activist. My name is Norma Blyther, and I am the ICS Bronx receptionist. My name is Kim Yancey, and I'm a licensed social worker. On a personal level, the ADA means a lot to me, meaning I have the right to live where I want, I have the right to go to school, I have the right to equal access to transportation. Was I around before or after the ADA and what it was like before and after? Well, I'm not that old, but I was around uh, before the ADA. I can definitely see the progression difference from when it started to how it's evolved now, from how nobody really knew what the ADA was to how people are now learning what the ADA is. My life before the ADA, I never thought about any ADA issues until I had an accident in 2011 and ADA issues became my issues. I remember no curb cuts. I remember, you know, <laughs> how hard it was vaguely. I was so young, but I, I do remember. Learning the ADA has helped me learn to voice those needs. It has helped me gain access into places that had steps. It's helped me gain access to having an accessible apartment. It's helped me gain freedom that I didn't know that I was entitled to before. Was there anybody that was a mentor to me that helped me overcome obstacles? The people who stick out the most in my mind is probably people like Marilyn Saviola, Carl Massey, Nadina Lispina. You know, those are the people who paved the way for our, our history and our movement and our rights. I had two people that I consider mentors to me when it comes to accessibility. Jean Ryan and uh, Edith Fuentes. They literally took me under their wing when I was a newbie. Rest in peace to my basketball coach, Frank Simmons. He showed me what it was to be a person with a disability um, that was strong, regardless of his differences. Ooh, the way the ADA has shaped my life that people may not know about. I definitely see the difference between when I started going to school and then when I ended up graduating from school. So I'm talking about like elementary throughout all the way up until college. And I see how liability was a huge issue in the beginning and I couldn't be with my peers I couldn't go on trips I couldn't do activities and then all of a sudden that started to shift and I was included and I did become a part of the group and the class and 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 I remember when I graduated from college they tried to play me and they would not let me roll across the stage because they were saying that it wasn't accessible so then I remember saying to them, um, you do know, like, it's my right, I paid, I earned my credits, and it's probably a little against the law to discriminate against me and not let me roll across that stage. So after I started talking about that, I think they got a little nervous because sure enough, the day I graduated, I, and, and people, when they know me, they know that I roll quickly, not that day. I went as slow as I could across that stage, and I was like, oh, me, my diploma, yes, thank you. <laughs> I've definitely have conquered many obstacles when it comes to employment and educating other employees and organizations on what it is to be ADA compliant um, and not just your own rules as far as, oh, there's a ban, uh, a banister on the wall or the door is a little bit wide. How has the ADA supported me and in what ways? Um, the ADA has allowed me to be a working person with a disability um, and get modifications, right? 
um, a lot of people don't realize that as people with disabilities, we can work. I think after 33 years, I am waiting for the opportunity where people will know that July is Disability Awareness Month, will know that it is the ADA anniversary. It will be just as prevalent as Black History Month, uh, Gay Rights and uh, Gay Pride Month. And, and that is so important. I want people in schools to teach it. I just want everybody to celebrate it just the way all other recognized communities are.